take you back. Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be reacting to Winona Earp Season 3 Episode 7 titled I Fall to Pieces. And as usual, if you're not with us last week, you said you missed Winona Earp in 30 seconds. Last week on Winona Earp, the holidays turned out as they always do, with family fun coupled with copious amounts of drama. Speaking of holiday, he decided to cull out and become a vampire, but you know what? It's 2018, Doc. You can be whatever you want to be. Nicole finally got promoted, which was long overdue, like since the patriarchal bullshit land comment overdue, and Robin and Jeremy kicked it up faster than a stereotypical lesbian couple renting a U-Haul. We're still not too sure about this Charlie character, but when have we ever been sure of anything on this show? And that's what you missed on my Nona Herb. So, as I said, last week was the Christmas in August episode, and it was a good one. It was fully jam-packed with so many character developments and so many questions, and I'm really curious to see how a lot of these things are gonna play out over the rest of the season. In Herb Chat this week, we talked about how much went down in this episode. There was way hot moments, kind of secondhand embarrassment from that dance. Julian, who is he? You know, Michelle is looking for him. Let Bobo out of the well to help look for him or get answers about him or something. There's this Charlie guy. We don't really know what his deal is. Robert and Jeremy, finally canon. Um, <clears throat> what else happened? Oh, of course, Nicole getting promoted. I mean, like I said, long overdue. And uh, Doc decided to become a vampire, a la a bite from Contessa. So, <sighs> a lot, lot going on. Um, but nothing out of the ordinary for Winona Herb. It's just all business as usual. People turning into vampires, people being born from uh, angels. It's all very normal. So anyway, I'm really excited to see where this episode takes us. I've heard a lot of good things about it, especially that there's a lot of Winona and Nicole, you know, going on the heist together. So let's see how that plays out and watch episode seven. Why did you do this? Why did you do this? I love how it landed just on his head. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. This woman had a baby, first of all. She looks <laughs> insane. Insanely good. <laughs> Nicole's cock blocking my Nona for once. And rest assured when I am sheriff, you will be both respected and supported. I will also pre order a dozen already found it. I'm April this year. I'm gay. <laughs> I'm April this year. Oh, she's really, she's really cute. That's all I have to say. He's just interesting. I roll. <laughs> we were never a thing, and Nicole and freaking Waverly are like, yeah, sure. Ooh. Oh my god, look at his chaps. <laughs> God, that was so dumb. Oh, was it dumb? Okay. Strength up, friend. Strength up, brother. Strength up, all you sexy mothers. <laughs> it's 10 a.m., Jeremy. Strength Maybe up. later. Oh, that's uh, since closing down the abattoir, thereby rescuing my tall and jazzy lady kind of boyfriend. Gay fist bump. Bunny Wild Law's the real kingmaker here in Purgatory. And she won't return your calls because she's a bully. Bunny? Bully is her name? Delicious. Really? Natalie, are you looking at my ass? No. Nope. Do you want to? No. <laughs> Not at all. I'll drive if you're tired. I do not understand. I need to get out of here. Huh? A while. What? Can't leave. You don't know the half of it. I was in a well, so I might know the half of it. Thanks. Thank you for the keys. And we made it up to make us practice working together. 
can't chop this. <laughs> Alright, well you might be fine to sit on your ass and do nothing, but I'm not. Especially after what he did to Dolls. True that. True that. Also, why are they just rifling through this potentially dangerous supernatural shit? Like, what if you, like, open something and a demon comes out? Yeah, and a demon's gonna come out of that urn. We all know it. Is that because the urn broke? Man, who is this? Demon Thor? Is that her? Is that actually her? Oh my god, is that her place? Is that a Bible? <laughs> Who's coming over? Either she goes or I go. I am deathly allergic. Aww, poor little kitty. <laughs> You're getting fat. Oh my god. If you don't pick up your animal and say that, then they're like not really your pet. What a bitch and a homophobe. <gasps> we don't like her. Great ideas on how to make the town safer and the department run more. Oh my god, she's wearing a tie. I totally can't. Well, you tell me. That's why I'm here. Unless you don't want to be sheriff. Wow, that's a blackmail. Parties gone awry, or because I'm thinking of backing Winona for sheriff. <laughs> you can't be serious. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Is a little too different. Can I just real quick for a sec, one sec? Fuck you again. Terrible with authority. You're not even qualified to run into bowling. Guac accused me. Guac accused me. <laughs> that was a that was a perfect pitch perfect joke. Oh, Isis. Oh God. That was funny. Isis. Oh my God. It wasn't the bunny. I mean, it wasn't the cat. Oh my god, you poured hot tea in her mouth? Oh my god. Oh my god. Things are really... Things are not going well for you. This is a hilarious episode. Look at her running! <laughs> it's parked inside the, like, Revenant city or whatever. <laughs> oh my god, this is just so amazing. I can't. Oh my god, this woman is the epitome of everything terrible. I love it. Oh I like this friendship too. This is a good, these are like a good odd pairing episode. A lot of odd pairings. Strange Bedfellows episode. That's what this should have been called. You are absolutely right. This is like to defeat Godzilla, you need Mothra. Guess what? All frat dudes. This is not even like fake. This is really what they're like. And they put them in Sperry's. Accurate. And if we win, then you let us go. What happens when I win? Then you can eat them. To kill us. 
must be the stupidest heir yet. Definitely in the top five. <laughs> Definitely in the top two. <laughs> let's just put it at that. Okay, wait, wait. Let's just recap. First, look at his Arnie space shirt. I love it, and his his, his military like camouflage jacket. Doesn't that sound spectacularly unlucky to you? Two, three, drink. Does oh yeah? Does um yeah? <laughs> Nicole has to participate as well. I wish you would stop helping. Poor Nicole. Drink. My God, Nicole's a lightweight. I feel strong. I feel college. <laughs> Thank you for calling me skinny. Oh my god, you would more certainly die. I would die if I took just three shots in this, that span of time. You've been spitting your shots into this bottle. No, she hasn't. You have been ready. I would have prepared the ugly. Oh, I love that movie. <laughs> Now I get to break your neck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and they're, they're still handcuffed together. <laughs> oh my god, look at them go. And Nicole is the only drunk one again. <laughs> look at these maniacs. I love them so much. Then what? It's beneath you. When? Why? Why is this character a thing? I love you. And here you are. She's just causing strain between Doc and Winona and the rest of the group. But I guess actually that is the point of her character. You're mine. Forever now. So go. Tell her parents. Why do they have grills when they like show their fangs? Doesn't seem very vampire like. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> oh my god. You should just get start shooting off Peacemaker. When does it get jammed? It's never happened before. I don't know the reference. I'm guessing it's Coyote Ugly. That was a very, um, Avalanche move. Oh! Who this now? Okay, this guy. Isis. <laughs> <laughs> Much worse. Why they're just going to they're running away, going to get help or something. Oh, coming back through the other door. Oh my god, they're gonna try and reassemble this ceramic thing while he's just standing there. And I know she's great in bed because my house is very thin walls. Mood. It was one time. Oh my god, these, these two are insane. I love Win Hot. Ooh, good. Oh, that's his wife. The gnome is his wife. <laughs> oh, there's your gnome wife. I am a lesbian. <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking about that for the ever. Till the end of time. Sometimes it takes a monster. 
my mother will be angry. That's for damn sure. She always seems to forgive you. Still, you may not escape her anger. Yeah, I doubt it. You for her then and your family. Love. The second time. Part number two. I'll let your man love. Why? This is so, like, random. I mean, I guess, yeah, we can't really leave because we got stuff to do in the Ghost River Triangle, so if she goes, then... Despite the day's events, she will not be getting my support. Go off. Go off, Winona. Perhaps. So you think you want to know the things Nedley's been keeping secret? Don't. I am sending that. All of his demon friends. Go off, Winona. Threaten. You don't know anything, lady. Yeah. Because the only reason you didn't want her to be sheriff is because she's gay. You basic motherfucking bitch homophobe. Mmm. <gasps> nice. She didn't even drink anything. Work? Well, someone wants to make you broken. And I used to think you were an outsider too. Not that you get too demony and you go and leave my sister with a broken heart. Why not? I love her. <laughs> also, you bet. I love you too. Oh my god. Kill me. It was a black badge who saved you from the cult of vulture and massacre in cold. Is that her? It's an idealistic local cop. Oh god, now I'm just- I'm- I can't. Oh no. Oh, Sheriff Nedley. Oh, Sheriff Dad. That was her? God. We don't talk. Why? Because of who you are. Yeah. Mm. A oh. When I found out you had involved. Some of the posting I did I mean this is what I had to serve. This is so emotional. I'm dying I'm crying. I'm dying. Everything good that I have in my life is because I came back to the Ghost River Triangle. You're like a daughter. <laughs> Well, so I'm now it's a sheriff dad. I was not expecting this. Oh my god. You're wrinkling the creeps in my khakis. Oh my god. I love Nicole Hot so much. It's insane. It's insane, you guys. Oh. You are a tough act to follow. Thank God. Not if you really need me. Stay here. Congratulations, Sheriff Bond. <laughs> Everyone's crying. Ugh, there's two letters. Yeah, what did you do? Be honest, buddy. Who are you? Uh huh. Well, I've always been. Tell me what you are. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Aggressive. Bad idea. What about us? What about Alice? Mm-hmm. You wanted your mortality, that badly selfish asshole! Watch your mouth! I... <laughs> there are some. John Henry Holiday. You're not welcome in my home anymore. Yes, oh my god. No. You did this. Not me. Yeah. I'm sorry, but 
you, you did do this. You did this. And you didn't consult anyone. And now you've turned away Winona. I'm pretty sure every single week I say that that episode is my favorite episode, but that episode was my favorite episode. I wish there was a little bit more Waverly in it, but the Winona and Nicole escapades never cease to impress. They're always so funny and like, it's so nice to see them working together and like just being little sisters-in-law basically. And just, you know, they really care about each other if they, even if they don't show it in the most traditional ways. I knew that decision of Doc becoming a vampire was gonna come back to bite him, no pun intended. I think it was stupid, I think it was brash, and I think it's reversible. So I think eventually we're gonna get to the point where something's gonna happen where like he'll have a choice to make whether or not he wants to stay a vampire, but I think it's gonna be reversible. I can't imagine Doc being a vampire for very long. And Nicole and freaking Nedley, I can't, dude. Like, oh my God. That was so cute. And I didn't know that the little girl in the picture was her until the end. Um, I thought it actually was Winona, weirdly, cause like she lived in purgatory longer, like since she was a kid. So I just, I just forgot, but that was so amazing and perfect. And we love Sheriff Dad. And now Nicole is the sheriff and it's everything is right with the world, almost. Overall, I just thought that was such a great episode. It moved, it was funny, it was emotional at the end with Nedley and Nicole and then Winona, Mama, Waverly, and Doc. And there's tension, but there's also a lot of love as there always has been. And that was just like the best episode that I have seen this season, not gonna lie. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked this reaction to episode seven, AKA the best episode according to me of this season. Please follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more reactions and check me out on Patreon if you haven't already. Lots of cool perks there. You can get these reactions earlier than non-patrons, which is pretty cool. And I'll see you guys back here next week for episode eight.